Hey everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from my color screen, helping you discover beautiful home screens. Today's video tutorial is a complete guide to the most ultimate customization launcher, SS Launcher or SS Launcher the original. Why do I say that? Well, let's have a look with this complete guide and see what it's all about. It's pretty crazy, so you're gonna have to watch the whole thing. So, would you like to have a launcher that is scrollable? Do you want a launcher that has different backgrounds for different pages? Do you want a launcher that doesn't actually have a grid size so that you can rearrange your widgets to be anywhere on your home screen? Well then, this is the launcher for you. So the one word to describe SS Launcher is customization. Everything that you see before you here on this home screen can be customized. If you've just installed SS Launcher or SS Launcher the original, which is the paid version, which I highly recommend you try out, you should have a home screen that's looking similar to this, where you have labels at the top indicating which page you are on which look really, really good. And as well, you can change each one of these, as well as a few widgets to get you started that just show some of the features that SS Launcher can do. Now, why am I doing a complete guide to this? Well, a lot of people do get stuck with this as it's not the same as Apex Launcher or Nova, where everything's pretty much laid out for you and you don't have to change much at all. So there are two important menus that SS Launcher uses that you wanna really wanna become accustomed with. The first one we want to do is if we have to hold down on the home screen, it comes up with quite a few options to choose from. We, if we go new widget, that just brings up a new widget such as your calendar, your Gmail, your clock, a UCCW skin, any widget that you would want to add to your home screen. Next we have here is our shortcuts. So if we had to go into this one, this really makes SS Launcher stand out as from here we can add a type of shortcut that's very unique to your home screen. So say if we start off with type, you can either choose between an application that'll just open up a simple shortcut to an app such as say your Gmail. We have a widget that'll open up a widget for example. We have page which will scroll to the page say example, say for example your contacts, it'll scroll directly to your contacts. We have your contacts, it'll just open up your contacts, bookmark, activity, those are pretty much your standard ones that any launcher comes with. So we'll just leave it at applications for now. Next we'll move on to target. Now what target does is whatever type you have selected, it'll bring up a target shortcut, app, widget, page, bookmark, etc. depending on what type you have. Clickable just means if you tap the icon, will it open up anything? It's really good to deselect. Say if you just want to show your missed calls, you don't have to open up anything for that. Now this comes to one of the most popular things about SS Launcher is its style in the look section so if we have to open up the style these are all the different options that you can choose from you can either have an icon with a title next to it you can say just have an icon you can have an icon with a background you can just have the information there are so many options to choose from here but let's say we take this the one with the icon and title next to it from here you can go into your background and you can either add in an image background which sometimes looks really good if you have a good fitting background or you can even just use a plain color that you'd want to use next you have your icon now if you've selected a style that comes with an icon you get to choose any icon that you want including wallpapers or pictures that you have on your phone beneath that we have our title now with our title you can call it pretty much whatever you want with as well as any size font color that you want but not only that where this comes very popular is that you can add in your missed calls your unread messages your unread gmail your battery level network status and available memory even your date so what makes that so good well instead of having your own say a uccw skin or minimalistic text you can just do it straight from ss launcher and make it your own custom look it looks really good as well and all you have to do is save for your missed calls is just select it and I'll bring up your missed calls and you can add in your own text as well from that so you just have to go okay and then you always remember to go apply settings to whatever you have I'm not going to show you everything as there are just so many options to choose from here also if you have selected a style that comes with information beneath that you can also add an in individual information for that shortcut finally you just have rotation and then you just want to go apply settings and it'll add in the shortcut from here we're going to be moving on to the next most important and most amazing aspect about ss launcher now a lot of times with home screens and setting them up they always have the problem of getting the right grid size set up saying a 10 by 12 a 16 by 9 
and it can get complicated if that grid size doesn't work for you you have to change the widths you have to add in a dock and it can get quite confusing and irritating so what SS launcher has done is gotten rid of grids altogether and you basically have say if we wanted to move this wi widget over here we have free roam of the entire screen not only that you can resize it to whatever size you want as you can see there's there's no limits on how and how big or small you want it and once you like it the way you want it say even if you want to move the position a little bit up or down you have this little joystick here what that does is that it helps you get that fine tuning in if you want to get it to, to precisely line up say to another widget if you want to get all blocks in a row this is the one for you another amazing part about this is that if you have to hold down on the widget and you select edit say if you didn't like the color of that font then you can go back and just change it just like that and then go apply settings and it will have changed for you really quick and simple you don't have to delete the widget and then re-add it now a few people ask how do you get a scrollable screen well it's quite simple with SS launcher and that is to simply resize a widget or drag it lower and then once it's been dragged lower you can pretty much just keep doing it to get a lower screen not the most user friendly but it works if you want to have a completely scrollable screen great so let's carry on with this guide and see what other amazing features this launcher has if we had to hold down on the home screen again it comes up to add to temp templates and load templates so if you like the setup of this current screen you just go add to templates so if you want to re-add it the next time say if you have all your shortcuts set up just the way you want them you just go load a template and you'll have them straight back works really well beneath that we have our wallpaper now SS launches wallpaper is slightly different than our usual launcher wallpaper in that it has two different kinds one is for the screens wallpaper and one is the general wallpaper the one that goes beneath that so if you had seen the one that I had in my home page and you had to scroll across it can be different to the one in your applications just to make things more customizable just to have more freedom on your phone so that is that basic menu set up next we're going to be moving on to our preferences or our general settings of the phone so if you just get into your menu button I just set it as this one here remember to set SS launcher as your default launcher as it also does keep going back to your original launcher and from here you have quite a few things that you can customize as you can see it shows you all the pages that you have created all the ones that have become pre-made for you it just gives you a home hot applications contacts bookmarks and credits but what if you don't want one of those what if you say don't want bookmarks well you just push the little bin button delete it there it is gone you'd never need it again but now what if you want to add on your own page well at the bottom here if you just select add new page you get the option to add whatever page you want adding in a blank page is the one that's just called a cover page like the one seen as your home page but you have the option to change that as well you can make it an app draw your contacts your bookmarks even your credits in case you delete one of them by mistake but just looking at the ones we have here like I said if you want to change the page wallpaper then you select the one that has a little image of a wallpaper there say for the home button and then this brings up your image page now this you'll see this quite often if you work a lot with SS launcher because every time you add say for an icon it'll add it onto its icon page so that say if you like an icon and you want to keep re-adding it it saves it for you in this area so say we want to change the home wallpaper we go add an image select say this leaf one you just have to select it and then you select that image and it'll be that image for the home page so now say if you want to make it for the hot wallpaper as well you just select the wallpaper one again and there is your image so you don't have to go and look for it all over again comes in real handy little pencil here that is just to edit it you can change say if you don't like the label or you want to change that instead of a group you just want it to be all the apps so that just gives you more freedom as well now if you have to look at the bottom here we've got a little few icons and menus if we select the lock what that means is that you can't change any of your features just in case someone you by mistake delete one of your screens or you just want everything the way it is you just select the little lock button other launches have pretty much the same thing next to that we have our little option here called theme and if we have to select that there's quite a few options that you can change here one thing that I particularly like and I really want to stress this out is animation what does this exactly mean well it's the animation scrolling from page to page now a lot of people might know or you actually might not know is that apex one was apex launcher was the only one that had the instant scroll but now the new update they have taken that away for some reason I don't know why so you can't get that instant scroll well 
SS launcher has instant scroll, all you have to do is change the speed to zero. Obviously you don't have to make it as, you can make it a little bit slower than that, but you can add in effects as well that look really good. But say now we go apply changes, I just want to show this to you, and we go from hot, say we go to, we go from hot to home, if we had a little screen jumper it would be instant and you wouldn't even notice. So in the animation part we just have different types of things to change for scrolling for page scrolling that look really good below that we have our label now if you remember we had the one that said home at the top and then hot and then applications you can change all of those as well making it your own font changing the location of it really unique idea that works really well but if you do not like it you can just select hide labels and then say apply changes which many people do on my color screen just as you don't always need them this theme also gives you options to change different aspects about the theme and then once you like the way it is is, you just need to select save theme just in case you want to reapply all of these changes again you just go load and it gets it all back real real handy next to theme we have preferences and this is just other things that you can add say you want full screen you don't want to have the status bar at the top it also gives you options to say swipe down if you just want to see the notification bar you can also change different aspects such as responsiveness or you can just or another great thing you can add is disable swiping so a lot of people say you don't want to be able to swipe the screen from left to right you want to use buttons instead well this option is for you then as you can just select a screen jumper and then disable swiping this makes the phone a lot more easier to use it also gives you your page preferences so you can customize even your individual pages that also work really well finally once all that's complete you want to just select the options here and you can now go save and you can save all of your your whole setup so if you like it the way it is you select save and then go load let's see there's the one that i saved before you choose the things that you would like to load you go okay and then we have all of our widgets back here even you see our minimalistic text widgets back up works really well here i've set up my hot applications if you would just want to add in another hot application just push the plus and you can add it quite easy to do next to that is my applications and next to that we have our contacts and there we have our guide complete i hope you understand a lot more about how ss launcher operates and the different aspects about it if you have any questions on ss launcher please check out our new my color screen forum that'll be provided in the description below go check it out if you have any ss launcher questions just leave them there and we'll reply to you as soon as we can thank you very much guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to the my color screen channel as well as check out our new forum facebook page twitter as well as google plus community thank you very much guys for watching this is marco from my color screen and don't stop customizing